What's up, this has been Sanity, and welcome to my first video of my training series where I'll be feeding you guys different workouts that you can do to help strengthen your body so that you can basically do harder moves and essentially take your, your dancing to a whole nother level. Now, some of these workouts are gonna be specifically for uh, different movements, such as lifting yourself up to a handstand, lifting yourself up from a cricket position, all, all those types of things. And other ones are going to be more catered towards just strengthening your body in general so that you can, you know, get to that level. Obviously, some of these exercises are more advanced and the average person is not even going to be able to come close to it. So we're also going to take baby steps to getting to that level. The majority of moves in breakdancing involve the core of the body. So a lot of the workouts we're going to do are going to really be focusing on the core, getting your core really strong. Most people that have been breakdancing for many years have extremely strong cores, their back, their abs, everything in here. Um, you typically don't see people who breakdance with like super huge arms, like a bodybuilder type person. They're usually more, a little bit more slim, yet very strong inside. Kind of, like, kind of comparable to a martial artist. Most martial artists are super huge. They're more compact, but yet very, very strong. And that's what we want to get to. So the first workout we're gonna to do today is V-ups. V-ups are somewhat of a, I would say, a little bit more on the difficult level of workouts. Um, I'm gonna be explaining five of these to you guys today, and then in my next video, I'm gonna just have uh, basically a workout that you can use with these specific workouts. So, first one is V-ups. You're gonna lay in this V position. So you wanna be here, and depending on how flexible you are, you're gonna lift your body up, as high as you can. So if you can, try to just touch your toes. Obviously, if you can't touch your toes, try to get towards your toes. So we want to lay down completely and lift up from here to this position. All the way down, without letting our feet touch the ground, up to here. If you're more flexible, you can go farther. If not, you might only get to here, but try to get as far as you can. So one more time, you lay down, and come up, lay down, up, down, up, down, up. As you get more comfortable with that, um, you're gonna be able to go slower or faster as you please. The second one is basically the V up hold. So that was the V up. This is just holding this nice V position, All right? So again, find it here and Really, your arms just kind of depend on what you feel comfortable with. If you feel like you need a balance, put your hands here. If you want to just hold it here, you can. Hold this for about 30 seconds, and after you get comfortable, after you start feeling the burn, feeling the pain, then let it go and just lay down and relax. The third workout is what I like to call Taekwondo sit-ups. And I've actually taught this before in one of my videos, but this is a, a a sit-up I call Taekwondo sit-ups because I learned it when I did Taekwondo and Taekwondo, they call it Taekwondo sit-ups, so that's why I call it that. We're going to basically be laying down with our feet about six inches off the floor and we pull our knees to our chest like this and we go back down without letting our feet touch the ground. So we pull in, knees come up to your chest and you go back down. So it pulls in and you go down. Pull in, and you go back down. Pull in, and you go back down. If you wanna make it easier, you can put your hands on the ground. You could even actually hold your feet if it's too hard, or your, hold your legs if it's too hard. As you get better at this, hands in the air, and if you can, hands on your stomach, hands on your head. And once you get your hands up here, it kinda makes it a little bit more difficult because Right here, you kind of have your hands to balance. When you're up here, it's, you kind of lose that balance. The next thing I have for you guys is basically to hold either a plank, or actually, if you're more advanced or have been dancing for a couple months, hold a cricket position. So um, again, like, like I said earlier, the, the core of the body is really important for dancing. You're often here, here when you're dancing. So we're gonna hold a plank like this holding it, keeping your back straight and your arms under you, and you're gonna hold it for about 20 seconds. If you are more advanced, you drop to a cricket position, or you could also do a turtle position. 
And if this is super easy for you, then you lift your legs off the ground and you hold it. Okay. Obviously, lots of moves in breakdancing have those positions. Cricket, turtle, so by using this as an exercise, it's really gonna help you guys achieve a lot of your goals. So the last one I have for you is kind of a strength test and it kind of simulates the V up position, but is with a wheel. So the wheel is a really useful contraption that I'd have to say really puts your body to the test and really works out your core. You're basically gonna hold the wheel with both hands and you're gonna be in a upright standing position and you're gonna put the wheel by your feet. You're then gonna roll the wheel down so you get into a push-up position and then use the wheel and use your, your, your abs and your core strength to pull yourself back. Now if you want to really focus on your abs, I would really say try to focus, like when you're doing it, think about your abs and squeeze them to pull your body back. So try it again. Start from a standing position, put the wheel by your feet, roll out to a plank position with the wheel, and then roll yourself back. Again, if this is too hard for you, you could actually do this starting from your knees and rolling out. But the main idea is to get this nice V or pike position. So this is my very first training video and there'll be many, many more to come. I hope you guys enjoy. Again, this is really to help you guys gain strengths to assist you in your dancing and really help you, help you get to that next level. I get so many emails from kids asking me for exercise they can do and you know all these things. Um, my number one recommendation is to simply just practice. When you're practicing, you're, you're using your whole body. And you sometimes get to this point where you feel like you need to take your, what you're doing to the next level. And that's when workouts and different training methods like this will really help. So if you guys want to check out my next video, it'll be a workout regimen of exactly what we just did. Check it out and get training. Alright, see you guys soon.